Hi, and welcome to the Digital Digging YouTube channel. This time we're looking at the future of the Army Fighter branch of the Japanese Tech Tree and the game War Thunder. I'd best warn you in advance that I'm unfamiliar with Japanese pronunciation, so if I make anyone wince, I apologise in advance and welcome correction. Right, well, disclaimer aside, first of all, we have the Nakajima Kai 43 1 Hayabusa or Peregrine Falcon. The identification number here refers to the prototype model, with the first production model being the Kai 43 1A. The 1A was powered by an HA 25 Type 99 engine, which generated 980 horsepower and a top speed of 308 miles per hour or 495 kilometers per hour, and was armed with a pair of 7.7 .7 Type 89 machine guns in the upper cowling. The Nakajima Kai 44 1 was powered by the Nakajima HA 41 engine, generating 1,250 horsepower and a top speed of 363 miles per hour or 580 kilometers per hour. It was armed with a pair of 7.7 .7 Type 89 machine guns in the nose and a pair of 12.7 mm HO 103 machine guns in the wings. The Nakajima Kai 44 2 Co was powered by a Nakajima HA 109 engine, which generated 1,440 horsepower and a top speed of 378 miles per hour or 604 kilometers per hour. It was armed with two 7.7 .7 Type 89 machine guns in the nose and a pair of 12.7 mm HO 103 machine guns in the wings. The Nakajima Kai 44 2 Otsu was pretty similar to the Kai 44 2 Ko, but without the 7.7mm machine guns. Instead, there was an option for a pair of 40mm cannon to be mounted on the wings. This apparently didn't always work out too well, and they were often taken out and replaced with the 12.7mm HO 103 machine guns that came with the Kai 44 2 Ko. It's not clear which modification we'll be getting, but seeing as all the other nations have at least one fighter modified to carry huge underwing cannon. It would seem a little unfair if the Japanese didn't get one too, although four 12.7mm sound good too. The Nakajima Kai 44-2 High variant actually does sport four 12.7mm HO-103 machine guns, two in the nose and two in the wings, but is otherwise more or less identical to the Ko. The Kawasaki Kai 61 1 Tai is fairly similar to the Kai 61 High already in the game, but instead of the 20mm Mauser MG 151 20 cannon, which the Germans had been shipping to Japan in submarines, the Kai 61 1 Tai sported the Japanese 20mm HO 5 cannon, the accommodation of which required a modification of the forward fuselage and stronger wings, in which were also placed a pair of 12.7mm HO. HO-103 machine guns. The Kawasaki Kai-61 Kai Ko and the Kai-61 Kai Otsu designations are a little confusing. As far as I can make out, and I might be completely mistaken, the suffixes translate as Kai-61 modified A and Kai-61 modified B. If this is the case, and given where they lie in the tree, I'm going to guess that these are the Kai-61-2-KA and the Kai-61-2-Kai B. If so, then the Kai Co carries two 12.7mm Type 1 machine guns in the wings and a pair of 20mm cannon in the fuselage, whereas the Kai Otsu comes with four HO5 20mm cannon, two of which presumably replace the wing mounted 12.7mm machine guns of the Kai Ko and could carry a bomb load of 1,102 pounds or 500 kilograms. They were both fitted with an HA 140 engine which generated 1,500 horsepower and a maximum speed of 379 miles per hour or 610 kilometers per hour. Right, onto the twin engine fighters. The Kawasaki Kai 102 Ko, or A, was a high altitude two man heavy fighter armed with one 37mm HO 203 series cannon and two 20mm HO 5 cannon. I haven't been entirely successful in tracking down the exact specifications of the engine, but as far as I can tell it was powered by a pair of turbo supercharged Mitsubishi HA-112-2RU engines, but I can only find the specs for the non-turbo supercharged version, so performance will be upwards of 1,500 horsepower per engine, generating a top speed somewhere north of 360 miles per hour or 580 kilometers per hour. The Kawasaki Kai-108 was a single crew aircraft, very similar in 
designed to the Kai-102 Co, but with a pressurized cabin. This was a prototype modified from the Kai-102 Otsu or B, and it looks like only two of these were actually made. It's a it's a little foggy whether this one had a rear-facing 12.7 mm machine gun, which is about all that would differentiate it from the Kai-102 Co or A. Though there were a number of prototypes testing the Mitsubishi Kai-109 design in different roles, including a night fighter which carried a pair of 37mm HO-203 cannon in a Shraj music configuration, and a day fighter which carried a 75mm Type 88 heavy cannon in the nose and a 12.7mm HO-103 Type 1 machine gun in the tail, it's most likely that we'll get the Army Heavy Fighter Interceptor version which, like the other prototypes, was modified from the Kai-6. 67-1. This aircraft was designed in response to American high-altitude bombers such as the B-39 and carried the 75mm nose cannon of the Day Fighter and also a modified version of the 12.7mm tail gun. It was powered by a pair of Mitsubishi HA-104 series piston engines which generated 1,900 horsepower each and a maximum speed of 342 miles per hour or 550 kilometers per hour. Finally, we come to the Mitsubishi Kai-83, a long-range heavy fighter that reminds me somewhat of the Mosquito. It had a two-man crew and was powered by a pair of Mitsubishi HA-211RU radial engines, which generated 2,070 horsepower at a maximum speed of 438 miles per hour or 705 kilometers per hour. It was armed with two 20mm and two 30mm cannon in the nose, so head-ons with this one are not advised. Right, well, that's it for the Japanese until part two, which should be up in a day or so. Thanks for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, then it would help out if you'd be so kind as to hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing, then you might consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, well, cheerio chaps, and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.